These are the top stories of the week. Microsoft's brand new Surface tablet and laptop, Facebook may use emojis, Netflix raises prices, and what flew under the radar. Microsoft held a big event. As expected, there's a brand new Surface Pro tablet. The Surface Pro 4 packs a 12.3 inch screen in the same size as the Surface Pro 3, which had a 12 inch screen. There's a new type cover to go along with the Pro 4 with a larger trackpad and a redesigned keyboard. However, the big surprise was Microsoft's first laptop, the Surface Book. It's got a 13.5 inch screen and is actually a hybrid laptop. The screen can be removed and act as a tablet. Not all of the guts are in the screen. The GPU is located in the keyboard base, so the machine is more powerful when docked. Microsoft also showed off three new phones. There's the 5.2 inch 950 and the 5.7 inch 950XL. Both can be attached to the new Microsoft Display Dock, which allows these phones to operate more like desktop computers. The budget Lumia 550 was also introduced, but it can't act like a desktop. Facebook is now testing a new way to share your emotions instead of the like button. It's a collection of six emojis. They're like, love, ha ha, yay, wow, sad, and angry. The test will take place in two markets, Spain and Ireland. This sounds like a good approach. We'll see if it becomes a standard Facebook feature. Netflix is raising prices. Its standard price now costs $9.99 for new members in the US, Canada, and Latin America. That's up $1 per month. The company already raised prices in Europe earlier this year. Existing members won't see the price hike until sometime later. It's time to go rapid fire. Here are some more stories you should know. Roku introduced the Roku 4, a 4K media streamer. Twitter named interim CEO Jack Dorsey as its permanent CEO, and the latest version of Android, Android 6.0 Marshmallow, arrived on some Nexus devices. Here's what flew under the radar. Say hello to the light L16 camera. It features 16 individual camera modules that can take pictures from 13 to 52 megapixels in size. So why is this important? The claim is it can take awesome photos like a DSLR in a package that can fit into your pocket. DSLRs are clunky to carry around, so if this thing can deliver, it'd be impressive. Light is taking pre-orders right now. For more information on everything tech, go to CNET.com. I'm Ayaz Akhtar, signing off.